I'm Turn Strowman at Theron Q. Ramachurak, and thank you for selecting this video on what to tell the animals. Before I continue, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, come on. Do it now. While you're at it, activate the notification bell feature. Share the joy of the channel with others, starting now. Give this video a thumb up. Lest you forget to do it later. Now, what to tell the animals. Okay, a few videos ago, a few uploads ago, uh, I called a, a video something about um, killer whales killing trainers uh, and what I told Shamu. Look at it. Because what I told Shamu at SeaWorld, personal one-on-one -on -one interaction with Shamu with a mind link. It's relevant here. Now I'm going to broaden that whole action. I'm going to make it a general thing now. A recommendation for you. In fact, a request of you. Here's what to do. <clears throat> Whenever you find, wherever you can go, to access an animal that's in captivity, regardless of how benefit. Uh, beneficent or benevolent that captivity may be in your opinion or in others opinions captivity right? a zoo for example I want you to pick an animal Could be a reptile Could be a mammal, could be a bird. I want you to develop a rapport with that animal. I want you to put time into this. I want you to visit, let's say, a zoo, that zoo, frequently for a while. Your animal, the one you've selected, try to make it so that you have personal time with that animal. The animal in the enclosure, you not in the enclosure. When other people aren't around. Practice developing a mental link with that animal in the way of telementation. Otherwise called telepathy. Just a, a mind link. Across which information can be transferred. Emotions. Mental images. Affirmations. Dialogue. <clears throat> impressions. Envision your subconscious mind also involved in this link with the animal's subconscious mind, whatever that is for that animal. And their instincts, their central nervous system, what have you. A mental link. Work it out so that this animal comes over near you. <clears throat> and you let that animal know that you love it and that it's beautiful and develop rapport along these lines, right? Until you can branch off into other uh, content such as you are in captivity. I do not like that.
I want you to communicate however you do with other of your kind, your species, as well as others. Get this message sent around the world, the whole animal world. Okay. That captivity is wrong. And that some people are very bad. Including the ones who engage in capturing and holding animals in captivity. But not all people are bad. Some people are very good. Some people even oppose such things even come here, like me, and talk to you about this. <clears throat> and furthermore, you move on to more content. And let the animal kingdom know, through your animal, your chosen one, that human beings are in captivity here on this planet. We're being used for our energy. And some of us know it, like me. And then relate to the animal. So I understand captivity, and I am against it. So you, my friend, the animal, let it be known that all animals on this planet and humans must work together to break free. And humans are not your enemy. Some people are, but not all. I'll let the animal know. that there are other creatures on this planet, astrally, physically, what have you, who work to enslave and capture and hold in captivity one way or another human beings. And you tell your animal, those creatures, you, and all the other animals now. Let them know. That we. Including you. And your kind. And all the other good animals. Are against that. And are against them. <clears throat> now, another thing about this communication with animals like that. Did you know that one of humans functions <clears throat> with respect to people's pets? especially people's pets. Have you noticed that if you have a really good pet, it, it bonds to you? And, you know, cats, dogs, things like, you know, especially dogs, they kind of take on your own personality. <clears throat> that is, they, 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 they well, in, ad in addition, they they develop their their own like individuality. This is because of your influence. We help them evolve as a species.
we appeal to that inner spark. Of that animal and that species. That inner spark. That urges. That species. That that life form. Toward evolvement. They start. To think a bit. more, More like. A more evolved being. Us, their masters, we can intentionally do that once we know that that's something we do, that that's a role we play with them. That same notion is at work in this recommendation I'm giving you about what to say to the animals. This is a next level of consciousness that I'm prescribing a lot here in my videos. I guess a next level of consciousness. I'm sure somebody else would say, yeah, that's what it is. What am I looking for? I thought I brought water over here, but I I guess I didn't. I got to end this video soon. We're... You know, Christians may refer to the Bible and say, we are put here to be the, you know, one of our jobs here is to be the stewards of the planet, including the animals. Well, this is how to do that. Hmm. Doesn't mean lock them in cages, for God's sakes. It means help them evolve and be free. This recommendation I'm giving you about what to tell the animals uses that. It employs that in a specific way. This is spiritual warfare. By way of the animal kingdom. Like the video, thumb up. If you didn't give it a thumb up at the first place when I asked you to, now punish yourself and give you give it one now. Subscribe, get notified, share the joy of the channel with others. Like the video. Thank you for selecting it. I'm Turk Strong and it's Ron Q. Ramatrap. Be well.